Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am here every Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Readings generally begin at 10.25 Eastern. They go live at 10.30, so you can pop in the chat five minutes prior to the reading beginning. You should chat with everyone if you want to get a personal reading with me. There's a link in the description box below where you can book a reading. You can also join my OnlyFans. Go ahead and click that link and that will take you to my socials and everywhere else you need to go. You can also become a member of my channel. So thank you for being here. Now let's get on to your reading. All right, you guys, we're going to do your short and quick reading for the weekend see what the messages are for you for this weekend hopefully it's good go over to my moon pie tarot channel i already uploaded a weekend reading for the collective over there so definitely check that out real quick just want to thank everyone who has been donating to the christmas tarot deck fund if you have not checked that out yet uh, go over to my link tree over there there is a link that you can click if you would like to donate a dollar um, to help me purchase this Christmas tarot deck it is super super gorgeous there are a couple of pictures they're not great pic excuse me they're not great pictures but um, that's all they had but um, they're it's really really cool and I'm hoping to be able to use them for um, Christmas yes they've got like the hermits dressed in like a Christmas hoodie and you know uh, it's just reindeer and candy canes really cute really really cute okay so yeah thank you to everyone who's been donating super super grateful for that and uh yeah okay and thanks everyone who's been buying me coffee too you know I always appreciate the coffee okay let's get into this okay you're starting with the coffin and you know what the first thing that came to my mind I don't maybe because this is what I do I don't know but somebody's getting some coffin nails done I like to get the coffin nails. Um, you've also got endings, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. Coffin is pretty apropos for Halloween as well. Okay. <laughs> you, have, you also have butterfly and you also have palm tree. Okay. So let's take a look and see what's going on. So Friday, <coughs> excuse me. So Friday looks like coffin. Okay. Maybe you're going to a Halloween party. Um, or like I said, maybe you're going to get your nails done. Um, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. Okay, so let's take a look. What, is, uh, what else is happening on Friday for you guys? All of a sudden. Okay, let's take a look and see. Friday, Friday, Friday for my Virgos. Okay. Oh my God. Seriously, go over to my Moon Pie Tarot channel. Do it now. Cl just stop. Click stop this reading. Pause it. Well, if you're not li if it's not live, you can pause it. Go over and listen. That card fell in the same exact spot on the Friday. Same exact spot, the devil. Cr that's crazy. So there might be a connection. Okay. And it, it's starting, I, ho I hope it doesn't go the same way, but you know what? Sometimes these readings, sometimes, okay. Now I'm just going to say, if, they, if you're going to a Halloween party this weekend, <laughs> like this is giving me total Halloween vibes, okay? Um, coffin, the devil, like come on, right? There's something going on here. But some of you are putting an end to a very toxic kind of relationship. Something on Friday, okay, for sure. Now let's take a look. You know, just the last nail in the coffin. Wearing garlic around your neck. You, the whole nine yards. Okay. <clears throat> let's see. What else is going on? All right. King of Swords. I knew it was going to show up at some point. So there's definitely... You're done with that air sign. Done with the air sign. Um, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. What? King of Pentacles. What? Okay. Hmm. Or you're done with the earth sign. Or you're done with two so two people. Right? You're some of you are like, I'm done with both of these people. Okay. Okay. Or you're transitioning from one to the other. Okay? You might be. You're ending one relationship and getting into another. 
some of you that's one okay um, and some of you are transitioning gender wise okay there's that as well okay um, and some of you are have a there's a homosexual relationship happening here as well okay I just want to say that there's definitely um, but you could be ending one ending a homosexual relationship as well I just want to get a little clarity here on the, the king of king of swords and the, the king of Pentacles let's see king of swords and the king of Pentacles King of Swords, okay. Hmm. Okay, so there is going to be some kind of what I feel is, I feel like I need more light, okay. There is going to be some type of ending happening here, and there's also a new beginning. Okay, I will tell you that, but I feel like there's uh, the devil is there's a there's a chained kind of feeling happening here with the devil. This is an out with the old, in with the new. There's a transition, um, ending something and starting over with someone new. There's there's change for sure. There's so Friday. Listen, Friday is gonna feel. It's not gonna feel like okay, something's ending and then I'm standing out here all by myself in the middle of nowhere and nobody's around and I'm all by myself no it's like it's like leaving one place and then arriving to another place where there's at, wherever there's people at or there's a person at do you know what I mean so you could be traveling you could be leaving one place where there's people or a person and then traveling to another place and there's another person at the other end okay because we do have the knight of pentacles and that does represent travel slow travel you could be going on a trip. You could be leaving somewhere Friday. It's going to take a real, lot of hours to get there, whatever it might be. But I feel like some of you, Friday, you're either making a decision or you're actually going to be doing this, like already going. Okay. Um, so Friday looks like that's it. Done. Going. Okay. And some of you are, I do feel like there's a relationship evolving with the butterfly and that's that Saturday energy and it all kind of segues into each other. Um, a, a relationship evolving to the next phase. Now, um, I definitely see you seeing yourself or just being completely single, like in the mindset on Friday. Um, really like some of you I know could actually physically like be single, not have anyone, but you could have someone in your heart, but it feels like your heart catches up to your head because your head's like, no, I know I'm single, but your heart still is holding on to someone. There seems to be like some kind of confirmation on Friday where it's like, nope, my head and my heart agree that I am definitely on my own. Yeah. So it definitely feels like your, your head and your heart are in agreement, you know, and it's kind of like, I'm ready for, to meet somebody else. And I feel like you connect with someone or you already are moving in that direction so the butterfly definitely on saturday is growth and change and going into the next phase of your life look here you go the not uh, the eight of cups this is like definitely going after your ninth cup okay you may get some kind of offer invitation um a sweet text message someone's interested You've got the nine of wands here so this is kind of like looking back on your past and re-strategizing how you're going to move forward or walking away from something and looking back seeing where you've come from it almost feels like one last look like you're taking that one last look and moving forward in your life so if i'm feeling like this weekend is putting that final nail in the coffin for you and just kind of like you're not I feel like you're not waiting around you kind of like say to yourself you know what if it's meant to be that person's good the person will they'll arrive and I'm just gonna now just put all that waiting energy that apprehension that anxiety um I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put all of my worries 
my concerns, uh, my frustrations, my what ifs, my whens, all that stuff. My questions. Um, I, I feel like this, I don't know if it's hesitation about meeting other people, worries about missing the opportunity. I'm just going to put all that aside. I'm just going to like, you know, give it to the universe. I'm going to give it to God. Just be like, I trust you with this. When when you know when you're when you know it's time for me, you will allow that to happen. And I'm and you hold on to all my baggage and my luggage and my worries and my concerns, and I'm just gonna go be happy. Yeah. So this weekend looks like that. You know what I mean? Um, because I feel like you just put it on the shelf, really, and you can take it down anytime you want. All your concerns, your worries, and you can just kind of fumble around with it and. Uh, kind of get mixed up with the person in your mind if you want but it's just a reprieve from all of that you know it might even be a reprieve from tarot card readings about wondering about this your person or just your love life in general you know so this feels actually refreshing that you kind of just take that one last look back and you're just like it's fine i'm going to accept invitations love invitations i'm going to accept flirting i'm gonna flirt in return um a relationship with someone that i talk to has the opportunity to to evolve to the next phase i'm gonna allow that to happen it's gonna cause growth within me it's gonna help heal any inner child work that i need assistance with you know and because whatever's meant for you virgo will be for you and it will only be for your best you know what i mean Um, As long as you're walking on a good, straight, and narrow path, it can only be for your best. You know, if you're kind of walking a wide path and you really don't have any guidance or direction, you're just kind of all over the place, then things can easily hop on that path with you and distract you. You kind of got to make your path very straight and narrow so that you don't get knocked off the path. You know, maybe install some guide rails a little bit, kind of keep you steady. Yeah, so Saturday is this, you know what? I've been swimming under that water, holding my breath for so long. Let me come up for air and just relax. So Saturday or Sunday, you have palm tree. Hmm. Okay. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> it's so crazy. I know. The first thing I was thinking. First thing that was coming to me was um, Palm Sunday, right? But I know that we're nowhere near that, right? Because I believe Palm Sunday, isn't that? I mean, I should know, right? Because I am a Christian, but isn't that around Easter? I never remember. <laughs> I'm such a bad Christian. But anyway, I don't know. Some of you might actually go to church on Sunday. I just have to say that. Or maybe you go back. Or maybe you already, you just go. It's not profound, and I'm just picking that up, right? Um, but there's a huge... This is the Ace of Cups. This is really, I feel like when you give it up to spirit, you give it to your angels, you give it to God, I feel like that's when your blessings come in. Sunday, I feel like Sunday you're really going to feel that spiritual connection. You know what I mean? I feel like really, and something to do with palm tree. So in maybe like a more mundane, everyday kind of thing, you might live in an area where there's palm trees, but the palm tree is very flexible, you know, um, It's got stability, um, it's secure, but it's flexible. So this is an energy of kind of like, oh, what's that old saying? Um, um, I forget the, I forget, I I forget exactly how it goes, but, um, oh, this, this, the stiff tree, the stiffest tree breaks in the wind, but the bamboo kind of sways goes with the flow (laughs) i I messed i botched that up so bad it's an old um tao saying uh this this the stiffest tree will break in the wind but the bamboo because it's flexible it can endure the strongest wind so this is about being very flexible on sunday with the outcome of your life with love that kind of thing Oh, look, and you've got the high priestess. So being very spiritually psychic and intuitive. Oh, wow, beautiful. And the empress. So the empress is like, she knows who she is. The empress is like the mother of all the queens. 
you know and even for the the masculines this isn't get this is about getting in touch with your feminine side and the, and the feminine side is all about the intuitive wisdom okay um get it because we all have um the masculine and feminine within us you know and you know if you're this is all about getting in touch with the feminine side even the high priestess that she is all about the feminine side as well this is all about the yin and the yang so i feel like um this is embodying the feminine spirit the the flexibility of the feminine spirit sunday is very profound um it's very profound for your your spiritual growth i feel and it has a lot to do with just letting go and just allowing love to come into your life this weekend i don't know if you're doing any kind of meditation over this weekend or if you are you're just coming to this place it looks like you know where you're just giving things up getting rid of your grief any kind of grief or struggle you know it looks it feels like a surrender of some kind you know letting go of relationships or a relationship like i said you're putting something to bed with that coffin you know and i feel like even as the feminine you might be embracing more of your feminine traits and the feminine traits are generally um it's kind of like what i used to say you know um The feminine traits are quite passive, you know. Um, feminine traits are, I feel like, I don't know why, I'm just, they're just telling me, sometimes pe people, uh, fem feminine can be very strong in her stability, is what I'm saying, much like the palm tree, you know, but she's, she's very go with the flow in the feminine trait, very go with the flow. She's passive, but her passivity makes her very strong because she's immovable, but yet she's flexible. Her roots are very deep is what I'm trying to say, you know, and that, that is what makes her very feminine. She's not easily moved. Okay. So I just feel like there's a, um, a rediscovering of self. My grandson is trying to get in the door and I've locked it because I know he's going to come in <laughs> trying to take over my computer and play his dinosaur game. It's just not happening right now. <laughs> so yeah, this whole weekend looks like just taking time out for yourself and really just, you know, putting everybody aside um, and bracing new opportunities for yourself and just kind of like live and let live. Like whatever's meant for me will be for me and that's good enough, you know. It's just completely good enough. Look, the world is at your feet in your go-go boots and your crop top. <laughs> so it looks to me like you're just kind of enjoying and, and letting that shift happen over the weekend. It feels very profound. Like even with the world, you know, the world structure, the world it doesn't spin off into nowhere. It has that gravity to keep it in place. It's got the planets keep it where it's at, you know? So even though the world is spinning and it's tilted on its axis, it's spinning. And the reason it's not flipping out is because it's got structures to keep it there, you know? Otherwise, it would just be a bouncing ball through the, through space. So I feel like you're very well balanced and structured. Um, and that is giving you the opportunity to make the shift. You really can't make the shift unless you have all the structures in place. And I feel like you're kind of seeing that about yourself over the weekend. And, and that starts with letting go and letting things happen for you in your life. You know what I mean? Just kind of saying, okay, well, you know, um, you, you kind of, it's like you just really can't, you have to have a foundation. You have to have those pillars, like with the high priestess. You have to have those pillars set in stone first before you can have anything, um, before your psychic abilities really can blossom and grow, you know. And she sits here behind this veil. So she keeps her secrets and her knowledge and her wisdom to herself. But she sits between these two stone pillars, like in a temple, you know. The temple representing... Um, your body temple representing a place of prayer um let me take a look i want to see what your chinese sign is 
what shows up here for your Chinese sign. Okay, you could be year of the dragon. You could be a snake, double snake. You could be a rabbit, goat, tiger. Get a goat again. Got a pig. Pig. Got a horse. Year of the dog. A pig again. Dragon again. Rabbit again. Got year of the rat. The rooster is here. Year of the ox. And two more. We got a horse again. Year of the dog. And a monkey, okay? And if I didn't call your sign, that's okay. It doesn't mean it's not for you. Let's see what your one other message is for you here. What other messages there are for Virgo? Hmm. Okay. Wow. Some of you are even just like opening up your no contact because it's like whatever will be will be i'm not trying to control anything okay so you you don't reach out and talk to anybody i don't see that going on but you are if you've had people blocked you're unblocking because you reach this place where doesn't matter you don't care whoever reaches out reaches out it's like you're no longer fixed on anything because of this transformation and growth I mean, if you're still holding on, <clears throat> that would make sense why you have someone blocked, right? Because it's still affecting you. But if it's not affecting you, it's not triggering you. Um, let's see here. Endings bring new beginnings. So if it's not, a, not affecting you anymore, then it would make sense. Someone can't trigger you if it, if, if, you're no longer being triggered, so it would make no sense to have blocks up. Does that make sense? Okay, not all of you. Okay, you've got deeply loving male. So for those of you who are embracing your masculine side, you're becoming much more deeply, um, more deeply involved in your empathy, empathy, your empathy. Okay, and you also have time to go. Get your GPS set, take off. You know where you're going and how to get there. Now it's time to go. Don't waste any more time. Just do it. Go after what you want. No hesitation. Blockages are being removed. This is what I feel like is happening here. You're doing something. Okay, financial loss. Be careful with your money this weekend. Check your investments before you invest in anything. Don't fall for those crypto scams. Uh, learning a new school, a new skill also has you occupied over this weekend as well okay arguments and separation in the reverse this is good the fight's over the argument's over the separation is coming to an end that's good that's really good news and a new chapter there you go that's the world look back on the past chapter one more time if you have to but only to help write the next new page of your book travel explore the world space the seas the psych whatever learn meet new people live your best life and allow the past to cycle out a new journey is ahead you can take someone with you or you can go solo but you must go all right let me just get a charm see what significant charm here for the weekend for you and then i'm gonna let you go okay this stuck to my nail legit while i was going through it and that is insanely ironic because if you go over to my Moon Pie Tarot channel, when I was pulling the charm, this is what came out. And I don't know if you can see it, but look, it legit stuck to my nail. It's a saw, hacksaw. I couldn't remember what it was called. So I feel like the reading over on my other channel might be connected to this for someone. And that reading was tough. <laughs> it wasn't easy, but there was something, there's a message there for somebody. So this is pretty much hack away the unessential. This is the message here. Um, hack away things that don't serve you. Carve away. I'm, I'm like out here quoting Bruce Lee. Like, what Bruce, I must be channeling Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee said, carve away. I mean, he got everything from the towel. So he said carve away at the unessentials the things that aren't serving you it's like trimming the fat right just get rid of things that aren't serving that are just hanging off you that are just not unnecessary simplify 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 your life um clear out the unnecessary 
simplify just um i think there's even like a, a certain way of living your life too is by living more simply um i forget the term that it's used for it but people uh i forget the term some people just um i used to know it too but my short-term memory is going i don't know what's going on i can remember things that i did like a year maybe no 10 years ago but my short-term memory uh it's a term where people they live like a very simple life it's like a theme of some sort i'm sure you guys know you can leave it in the chat or in the comment um anyway it's where people just you know they they live a very simple life they they have one fork they have one spoon one knife um they have one of everything they, they everything is very clean decluttered their mind is decluttered they hack away the unessentials they get rid of what they don't need they they don't hoard um they keep things very 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 simple one of each is pretty much um it, it leads to a very peaceful life that's for sure <laughs> All right. Oops. Okay. Somebody's crying. All right, you guys. So I'm going to leave that message there. Maybe you're just doing some woodworking or cutting some wood for a fire, fireplace or a fire or something over the weekend. You're doing something with a hacksaw. I don't know. Maybe you're going as, I don't know, a scary hacksaw creature or serial killer for Halloween this weekend. All right, you guys, I will see you all back here on Sunday. Okay. Have a good one. Thanks.